what's up guys hobo handliner here welcome to the finale episode of chasing moby dick the giant bass basically if i don't get him tonight that's it either he wins or i win i'm loaded up i got a storm proof lantern three tubs of night crawlers and all my fishing gear i'm heading out it's about 7 40 right now we're gonna set up camp and i'm gonna run uh, these night crawlers until i run out and we either catch him or we don't uh the bluegill should be uh done pestering me when it's dark out completely dark um so yeah we're gonna get out there and just hike around the couple different spots this giant fish likes to hang out at and see if we can um get him it's a uh, winner takes all tonight i'll see you guys out there let's set up my first ever nighttime only fishing camp and see if we can knock out a giant bass. See you guys out there. bullhead catfish literally a couple casts in not what I'm after but a good sign of life I hope this isn't a complete catfish night I'm definitely not here for definitely not here for them but I'll take it because this is the finale and it is a cool fish alright dude let me let me get my hook. Boy, he really, he really slammed that. Boy, it's really hard to see. There we go, I see the hook. It's clamping down on the pliers, making it very hard to get. There we go, I think I got it. <clears throat> Come on. Not what I want, bro. Come on, let me let me get this hook out of your mouth. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. <sighs> the bugs are very drawn to this light, too. Dude, come on. Can you get this hook, bro? <sighs> Alright, fast forwarding until I get this hook out of his dang mouth.
There's something with some weight to it. Looks like a bass. Yeah, nice bass. It ain't Moby. Yeah. It's a nice bass though. <laughs> Fat. <coughs> Man, these mats are getting, these gnats are getting in my lungs. <clears throat> ah, I know you can't see too good, but it's a nice, <coughs> these gnats. It's a nice uh, 12 to 14 incher. I'm just gonna let them go right away. <coughs> Keep on trucking. Catch Big Daddy. I got something, but it's snagged in a tree. Gotta go get him. Hopefully I don't fall in. I'll be right back, guys. <coughs> Went all the way out there. Just another stinking bullhead. <coughs> I'm seriously breathing in these, <coughs> these gnats like crazy. Fuck. <coughs> yeah. I think he swallowed the hook again, so... We'll skip to the next scene. Jumbo bullhead. Ah, big old sucker. Right in the side of the head. Ah, come on. <laughs> I know. You guys are hungry too. Mm. The gnats have calmed down a little bit. So I can get the hook out of this guy a little easier. I don't know. They suck crazy good. And literally the side of the head. These things just hook really weird, really deep. I mean this, oh my goodness. These circle hooks are just, I mean they're getting the job done on these catfish, but they're not what I want. Goodness. Like dude, just let go. Got it. Well, that's the best bullhead of the night. Again, not what I want at all, but... Uh, 12 inch bullhead. Nice bass here. <sighs> nice, nice bass. Picture worthy for sure. <clears throat> I sent that worm weightless. <laughs> oh, strong fish. Not Moby Dick, but very nice. See if we can get a picture of him maybe in this light. 
There you go, guys. Nice, healthy, close to two pound fish there. Very nice. All right, guys, we're switching locations. I want to try the big deep hole I know of with my last tub and a half of night crawlers before I lose the rest of these. There are still bluegill biting, and I'm editing out a ton of little, little tiny bull heads. Let's switch over to where we have more casting room. Maybe we can see some stuff with this floodlight. So, switching locations, guys. What is this? Is this a bass? Nope. Ginormous creek chub. Huge creek chub. There you guys can't see very well, but big old creek chub. Easily 13, 14 inches. Let's keep going. Whoa, whatever that is, it's massive. Oh, please be a big bass. Come on. This feels very heavy. Very, very heavy. Looks like a big bass. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Oh, yeah. There we go, guys. Oh. Oh. Okay, not overly, overly massive, but definitely big bass. Two pounds, easy. Oh yeah, strong fish. We'll get a picture of him, let him go. There's big bass feeding, guys. All right, guys, he's bleeding a little bit. Let's let him go. See if we can get a bigger one. Well, folks, I'm officially, let me double check, yep, I am out of night crawlers, and I am done obsessing over this fish. I am happy to say he has won, I'm going to be taking a break from this creek and trying some new spots and making some knives and getting back into the swing of things. My obsession is over. I lost him half a dozen times out here. Even tried to uh, <coughs> night fish, which I've never night fished before in my life, really. So Moby Dick wins. At least I'm not uh, like Ahab and at least I didn't die. He dies while he's chasing that whale, right? Something like that. <clears throat> Anywho, I have a life to live. I can't obsess over this fish anymore. I had a lot of fun, and he's clever. He spat the hook, busted my line, etc., etc. So, uh, yeah, props to him. Appreciate you guys watching this little mini series. I caught a lot of good bass uh, and catfish and some random stuff, but at the end of the day, he won, and that's okay. So, a two pound bass still remains <clears throat> my personal best, and I'm on to better things now. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm the Hobo Handliner. Have a good night.